Hi, I'm Dave, and this is the clutch master cylinder I modified for my 98 Altezza. Now it's time to rebuild it, install it, reinvent the wheel with the reservoir tank, and then check that the clutch functions properly. Okay, clean this up. I used diesel and then cleaned the diesel off with parts cleaner, so that's very clean. Same goes for my banjo bolt, and uh, that all goes together very, very nicely. I will not be using this. I will not be using this. I've got a new kit. Ta-da, this is from Yahoo Auction. It wasn't expensive, but it comes with all the new bits. So I'm gonna put that in. I also got this, which you can't see. See that? That is this piece minus the damper in here. It's got a piece of rubber. And uh, this is from a company called Motorfix. They're a famous drift crew and they reckon that it gives you a better clutch feel. Now, I don't know about that, but it was cheap and I would rather have that than this. Lightweight, let's just go with that. It comes with instructions. If you buy this kit and you don't know what any of the Japanese says, it says use the lock nut that's on this. It's a 14 and a 12. Get that apart, use this locking nut. Then it says use lithium grease on it. Okay, use lithium grease on it. And then finally it says make sure you adjust it correctly so that it's not pushing the uh, master cylinder in in the clutch off position. What you could do is just measure from this point, well measure from the bottom of this circle to this point here and that would tell you what it was set up factory. Or you could mess around with the clutch pedal and the uh, service manual that I've put in the description and set it up that way. 83 millimeters, let's go with that. 83 millimeters to the bottom of there. To the bottom of the bolt hole, we have 98.5, I'm gonna say. The rest of this is just, we are not responsible for you messing up your stuff. Don't fuck up your shit. Now this is a universal kit, so we've got a few extra bits. Oh, okay, just throw that on the ground real quick. Get that off there, say goodbye to that. How many times do you think that's been pushed in? I had a look on Megazip and I found that this kit, OEM, isn't actually that expensive. So had I have known that at the time, I probably would have ordered OEM, but we are where we are. They're the same. They look the same. Any difference in rubbery goodness? I think the Isin one actually has a bigger lip on the inside here than this one does. I'm not sure that's going to make any difference, but that's that. This has a smaller hole by the looks of it. Could we measure that as rough as we can? 11 mil, oh yeah. And this one's sort of 12 and a half. So it's not exactly the same, but I don't think that's gonna make a difference. This is what you need your lithium grease for. That has got quite a few contaminants in it because I always dip my finger in it. I'm going to go buy a new container of that and keep this one for general purpose shit and use the new one for delicate stuff. You don't want any debris floating around in this. Right, I need to go buy some lithium grease. While I'm out, I'll get myself some crush washers. Okay, I'm back. I went to Naps and I got Couple of, yeah, I just threw that in the ground. Let's do another take. No, let's not. Got some washers for the banjo and got some, this is multi-purpose grease. If you read the fine print, it says lithium grease. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, open up this bad boy. Gonna need this and this and that. It's quite heavy. This is an all metal part. The OEM one's all plastic. This is much better in my opinion. Right, so we need some lithium grease on here. Just a, a generous helping there, and probably some around this as well. Now we're gonna put it down there and wipe the grease off real quick. This goes on here, like so. Need to get this out of here. Need to put some grease on this as well. That's gonna come off. That's gonna go on there. That goes in there. And then we need the snap ring. So I need to get my snap ring tool. There we go. Got it. Is it in? Seated. There we go, seated. That was a bit of a mission. This goes over here. 
didn't say add any silicon grease to it in the instructions so we won't and we're here the locking nut put on this bad boy should have set it up before we put it together but now I'm gonna have to do it in the car aren't I and that's that that's put back together I'm not going to tighten this up until it's in the car because I don't know what angle I want it on. And fully overhauled. What did you need? Uh, just these, really. That's pretty much it. In we go. Okay, it doesn't fit for some reason. There we go. Oh, look at the fitment against the wall. <laughs> Problems with it. Changing out these two washers will suck because this firewall is in the way do we want to do this with it to be fair that's even more slick going in behind that but that's a nightmare to work on as you might recall this was a bastard to do because it's impossible to see in dark as f I'm just gonna twist myself into a pretzel real quick yo f me that was rather violent what do you have to be so violent for? Put these bolts back on. I'm doing them up. That's going to be a whole different ball game, I think. Oh shit, I almost dropped the ratchet on my face. That would not have been fun. Horrible. I want to punch a Toyota mechanic in the face right now. Now you can see what I can see. Which is not a hell of a lot. Yeah, okay, that's one. Now the other one. The other one, well, well, the other one's all the way over in here, but I can't even reach. Shit, you're probably supposed to take this panel out and then take this out, and that gives you better access, but, um, you know, I think I'm gonna, well, f I'm halfway there, mate. Do it the hard way, wrong tools and everything. Let's get a foul up screwdriver, pop that down and see if it actually makes it easier. I mean, I only have to go to here. Watch this become infinitely easier. Why didn't you just do this to begin with? Well, I didn't know. And then the service manual, which I only just checked, said that you should remove this panel first. And then I was sort of thinking, well, I got it out without taking this out. So I should be able to get it back in without taking this out, right? Well, not necessarily. Let's get this out of here. Geez, the lighting's f***ed. Okay, what can we actually see in here? A weird hose going up to who knows where. And get this hose off of here. That, that makes this let go real quick. Can we get this out of here? I don't have enough hands. I can't f***ing see anything. I don't have enough f***ing hands gruber. There we go. After we got rid of that, well, I mean, it's pretty much a straight run in there, isn't it? can actually see it. Well, that's much easier. Yeah, I recommend doing that. Follow the service manual unless you want to have a bad time. Sweet. Got that out. That is something I should have done in the first place. It just opens it up. Like, look, both bolts right there. Easy to see. So, yeah, definitely, definitely take that out. I need to set up this pedal. And I don't know what I'm doing. The pin you put through, you have to rotate so that it doesn't connect with this end piece. And after you do that, this should just go straight in. There we go, look at that. Easy. I think I adjust this by just rotating the shaft till I'm happy with the slop. And then do up the uh, locking nut. That seems to just be slop in the... Uh, in the mechanism, not in the actual clutch itself. Why is this so tight? This should rotate freely. Good thing I turned the camera off. YouTube doesn't like vulgar language and there was a lot of it. Now it actually rotates really nicely. So that will work. Put this back in the car again. Got some EPDM hose. Wait, I need to put a hose clamp on that first. I'm gonna use these ones. Right, can we get this over it? We can't, look at that. Can't do it. This hose clamp's too small. Right, so we won't be using this because it doesn't fit. 
Damn you, Tannen. Using a worm drive on this? <laughs> okay, we're on. That's on enough for me. You don't want to over tighten this, really. Because the hose clamp will bite into the hose and ruin it. I'm going to rotate that the whole way around, out of sight, and then do it here. So there's no chance of it touching our filter tight enough. There's no reason why we can't do this because it's hydraulics. It doesn't matter if it goes up or not. It's not gravity fed. So we could actually rotate this 180 degrees and plug it in. And that would probably be a lot more stealth than what we've got currently. Shit. What kind of bracketry do I need to be able to do this? Okay, so what we're gonna try is I've got this with this, gonna put uh, that through there like that, and then feed it through here. I need to go, I need to go to the hardware store, get a 30 or a 40. I'd say it needs to be at least 40. I don't think I'm gonna be able to f buy a 40 mil M6 one of these. I think the longest will be 30, but unless I go and try, I will never know. I'm heading to the hardware store. It's already 7.30, it closes at eight. The joys of not having stock of stuff. I don't actually know what I'm doing, but I do know that I'm gonna need another one of these. So I'm gonna make another one, only without that hole and long this way. So I transferred these holes over to here, like that, and then transferred this one onto here, like that. So now I have an extended version. I literally just cut this off with a hacksaw and then drilled the holes in it. So nothing exciting to show you. This fits on here like that. Okay, pretty good fit. Yep, I wanna bend this at this line, this way, so that we do that with it. How much do we need to bend it? I don't actually know. We're gonna to have to do it by uh, trial and error. Sound like a f***ing serial killer. If I load this in this way and then hit it towards you, I should be okay. If I just throw it on the ground real quick. Honestly, I think that's probably too much. Well, it turns out I didn't need an S at all. So let's just flatten that again. Bend it further. So now we've come way too far and this is going back in the wrong direction. So now this needs to bend back. So maybe we were onto something there. I mean that, maybe that might do it, but I suspect it's gonna bring it back too far this way. We need it over there. Now in a turn of events that could only be described as a miracle, that fits and that fits in there good. So that's what I'm gonna run with. I need to trim down this here to make it a little prettier. But other than that, that sits exactly where I want it. Not too close to this hose here, kind of following the contour of it. That is spot on. That's exactly what I wanted. There's my little S bracket. I'm not even gonna bother remaking it because I didn't damage it when I bent it. I kind of worry that if I do this, it's gonna take all the strength out of it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Pretty fancy looking bracket, really. Don't need expensive tools. You can get it done. You can get it done with junk. Right, that's through there. I'm going to sacrifice my nail to get this done. Use my nail as a, um, as a track for the blade to run on. I'm going to switch over the diamond file. Finish it up. I like the diamond file because it's non-directional. You know, some people on the internet get very passionate about the way you use a hand file. Can't believe you're using a diamond file on aluminium. It's gonna ruin the file. It was a hundred yen file. A dollar. It was probably in a set of five for a dollar. Cleaned up to the max. Check it out. That's a great looking little bracket. Check that out. That is what I was going for. Feed this through. Like that, the 10 mil on the back. I really like this. I think I'm getting better at this sort of shit because that didn't take me many uh, attempts at all. That was one attempt and done. Look at the thing. How good is it? 
Why using Loctite? So it doesn't come undone. There's the 30mm one instead of the 20. Some Loctite on this one. Whoops, that's a bit much. Put that in there. And then we have to fumble to get it done up. Absolutely incredible tool. Try and get these sort of levelish. Trying to get this level with the other lid so that when I put it on the ground they're kind of the same. There we go, that's about it. Just tighten this up. Super easy with this tool. Seriously. And that's in, mate. That's not going anywhere. Let's have a quick look around it. We're not touching this. We are close to it, but it's not touching and never will. More glamour shots because I am absolutely stoked on that. That's what I wanted originally, but didn't think I could get it done. It's just incredible the way that fits. That is beautiful. Okay, so next step. Loosen that off again, move it out, and then put this hose behind this. There we go. Right, get this hose out of here, through there. Make sure you wrap it around the ITB real quick so that uh, it prevents you from dragging it through. That is essential, you really need to do that. Oh. Geez, give me some grief. Wow. Okay, so we come out of here, run up over the brake booster, sketchy razor blade for the win. Try not to cut myself or anything else. Put this on here, and then now the struggle begins. Can I get this hose on? The struggle is real. It's on, right, we're good. I think that's better than what it was, and it was pretty damn good before. <laughs> Think that's rad for better or worse i cut the heat shield back and then jammed a bunch of stuff in there and hit it with hammers to get the wall to move back and i have damaged the wall a little bit but i mean it's not like you can ever see it so she's a bit scratched up there may or may not be a puncture wound yeah it's a, it's a little hole it's about the size of the pick head did that with a screwdriver just here if it rained i don't think water would even get in there parts cleaner all the things there we go the conclusion to the drama in here was that i put some jb weld in the uh hole and around the place let that dry and i've just sprayed noxidol over the top this is basically anti-rust thing it's a coating underbody type thing and i'm confident that that will prevent that area from rusting if it was ever actually going to our spider friends have moved back in, in my absence. In you go. Do this up. I don't seem to have any leaks here, so we're good. This is full. I just have to adjust the pedal. I've got the instructions here, but it's sort of clear as mud. I can't really understand it. Push in on the pedal until the beginning of the clutch resistance is felt. Well... I mean, is it the clutch resistance I'm feeling, or is it this spring? I can't tell. Maybe, maybe there? Is it, like, is it, is it there? 15 millimeters, it should be. Well, I mean, is it, is it, is it that? That might be, that's 15 millimeters, that's not. That's quite a lot more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to read this a bunch and try to figure out what the f*** it means. I have no idea at all it says check the pedal height left hand drive models 154 to 164 millimeters and then it says it's got like this little drawing here but it doesn't say where like it's pedal height from asphalt sheet to where like is it the center of the pedal top of the pedal bottom of the pedal yeah i i don't i don't know so i mean if it's if it's the middle of the pedal i'm going to say that it's uh 50, 155 uh so that's okay if it's the top of the pedal it's 150 if it's the bottom of the pedal i have to move the mat out of the way um the bottom of the pedal we've got 135 it just depends on where you measure it from and it just doesn't it doesn't say so I'm going to ignore pedal height. It's about the same as my brake pedal, and I'm happy with that 
regardless. I didn't change it, that's how it was from stock. Right, now it's got check pedal free play and push rod play. I'd love to. Pedal free play, five to 15 mil, or is it that? That's, I mean, that's okay, but I, th I think that's push rod play, not pedal play. I've been playing with the push rod. Now it's not even hitting the stopper anymore, so we know that's wrong. I actually wound it out more, and that, that really tightened it up. So maybe I was just wound too far in. Now that's all I get. So, is that correct? No. Oh, that's nothing now. Okay, I adjusted it. It's nothing now. There is no free play. Still no. Oh, there we go, suddenly. So it is actually possible to do. It's very fiddly. That's about three. That's the push rod play. I'm happy with that. Need to tighten up this lock nut. That is tight. This has only been 20 minutes. Bugger all your honor, perfect. So I gotta get this back in. And I don't know how it goes. Probably like that. There we go. That's for putting air on your feet. How lovely. Need to connect up. I don't know what this air pipe is for. The connector to whatever, I don't know. I have no idea what they are. OBD2, and then we have to do the bonnet release, which is never easy to do. Now that I've said that, this time it might be. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, it'd be nice if my fucking light would stay where I could see. Yeah, the, see the light falls down, camera falls upside down, light turns off. You can't film half this shit. Spin the light around so it shoots me in the face. Did I get it? Yep, got it. There we go. Put this in here. I'm not sure what the hell that is. Screws. The screws are coming. Joy and joiners. I mean, that might be, that might be done. I don't know. So the instructions are, take the parking brake off, use a wheel stopper, start the engine, and idle the engine. Without depressing the clutch, slowly shift the shift lever into the reverse position until the gears contact. Really? You set this up by grinding your gears. Gradually depress the clutch pedal and measure the stroke distance from the point the gear noise stops. No, I'm not doing that. So, how does the clutch feel? feels golden. Do you ever just sit in your car and think? Well, I was sitting here thinking, I think whether the car is running or not is irrelevant here. So I tried it. Move this over and it doesn't want to go into first. So if I push my foot, start pushing it, I can actually feel it through the shifter as I'm applying pressure slowly going down with the foot pedal and should go in in a second there it is so it went in right now i've stopped my foot instantly now it says that i need to have more than 25 millimeters of pedal remaining from this point that's a lot more than 25 millimeters so i'm fine if we try it with reverse we get the same deal it won't go in so we start going down can feel it in the shifter it went it's in i think we're good i'm calling it done it's done clutch pedal is done feels great really does noisy though have to address that